You wouldn't dare give me bad weather twice in a row. This weather looks worse. Hello everyone, Thranx is here, and welcome back to Mars Horizon at the Azure Flame Space Agency. We're currently, let's see, two missions available. We just launched an artificial satellite. We don't yet have another mission, and we only have one request for the atmospheric sampling, which is currently in construction. I think our next bit of research needs to be the payload... Uh, pioneer and we just need to start working on getting to the lunar orbit even if we can't be first we can keep pushing down the tree we can skip putting the animal in space to try to get to putting a human in space a little faster as we know our science benefit is focused on crewed missions or manned missions to space not crewed but crewed c-r-e-w-e-d the prospect of launching the first human into space is dominating the newspapers. Most have labeled it an impossible endeavor, whilst the less skeptical outlets claim a rival agency are bound to get there first. Several have contacted your agency for a statement. Uh, we will win the race. You have replied, not only is it possible, but inevitable that a human will reach space. And what's more, we will be first to achieve it. Your statement has resulted in a surge of public support. If detractors maintain you're setting yourself up for a fail. We might be. We might be. The other agencies are doing way better than us so far. Ed the 13th. Launch vehicle is ready. No effect from the engineers. But we are going to send another sounding rocket into space with a scientific focus. But we're going to launch it relatively quickly. New request missions available on Earth. So it looks like we have solar wind monitoring, uh, challenging, minus one turn in each task, but better rewards for mission success. And we could use that science since we're trying to get ahead. So let's go ahead. We'll spring for the better explorer payload this time, since we're going to have uh, fewer actions in our turns. And we'll begin construction on that. Again, start to use up some of that <laughs> space subsidy. No, go to my active missions. We need to, yes, confirm our launch date for Ed the 13th rocket. China is going to put an animal in space in eight months. So, okay, so it looks like Soviet Union is focusing on, they're also putting an animal in space. Japan's going for lunar orbit. China's, China's all over the place. China was fourth here. They're poised to be first with the Soviet Union there. Nobody's really got the human being in space yet, and then China's also poised to be first with lunar orbit. Gosh darn it. Tough stuff. Let's view our plan. All right, these are being constructed. And let's go to the next month. All right, now that the Pioneer is done being researched, we can actually bin, begin construction on the payload that will do a lunar orbit. Support, reward, vehicle build time. Yeah, that's not great. All right, Ed the 13th, we're going to launch a suborbital sounding rocket to measure the effects of solar radiation on the Earth's upper atmosphere. Ed the 13th, you've been pretty lucky so far. Look at that. Clear skies. Oh yeah, very clear skies. Adequate conditions, 12% critical failure. It's okay, we're going anyways. We're doing it. These early sounding rockets, you know, I'm sorry Ed, they're not going to have the best reliability, but, but it, there's important experimental data to be gained by launching these over and over again. There we go. Looks good so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take it. That's good science. And look at that. Reliability goes up. All right. So for research now... could go straight to the human in space? I think we should. 
even though we're going to have to focus a good bit on launch vehicles, I think we get the mission started first. So, no, 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 no. What am I saying? For lunar orbit? Hold on. First things first, let's... Orbital radio... No, no, no. Let's go back to the milestones for the moon. We want to queue up for lunar orbit and begin construction on the payload. Pioneer payload starts with six power. Um, we could prototype it for cheap and hurt our reliability. What are we actually going to have to do? Perform the translunar injection and then achieve lunar orbit. We could get a higher data module, an observation module. You know what? I will take a slight hit the payload reliability for the observation module because then we're going to have a lot of we're going to have more data options. The more resources it will generate. Right. That's that's sort of what I want, so we'll go with that observation module, and we'll begin construction on that payload. Now, if we go to research, we can see if we request lunar orbit, right, it's telling us we're going to need some of these to actually reach the moon. You can't, these are only good for Earth orbit. I'm not inclined to necessarily go with the cheaper one, but I mean, the cheaper one also has a higher carrying capacity, but it weighs more. What's the cheaper over here? Oh, the algal booster is significantly cheaper. It can only support an able upper stage, though. The Jupiter upper stage is too large. It requires a Jupiter booster. Scout. Oh, that's for Earth orbit. Higher capacity upper stage for Earth orbit. Mm, okay, I'm thinking. I'm thinking we'll go with the Al Goal. Um, did, how much did we put into human? In, yeah, we haven't started researching anything on human in space. Change the research. I demand it. All right, for solar wind monitoring. We're actually going to use the uh, TGM rocket. Yep, a lot of these basic satellites are going to be put up with, uh, TG with the TGM rocket. All right, our goal research is complete. China is going to do lunar orbit next month. There's just nothing we can do about that. We're significantly behind that particular stage. And then the able, able, let's double check, capacity 1,000 kilograms, mass 1,000 kilograms. Okay, so the able upper stage is what we want to go with the algal booster. And our lunar orbit payload has been finished. No effect from the engineers. I'd almost prefer no effect to a horribly negative effect. So this one is going to be... Uh, we're not yet ready to build this one. We can't start building it until ABLE research completes. But that should be next month. So let's just advance it one month. There we go. All right. Our... What is this? Our third TGM rocket? Yeah, yeah, this is our third TGM rocket, the first one. <laughs> we won't talk about the first one. I think I want the focus again to be science. I feel like that's kind of the most important one. And then, so let's see. So this science reward is 400, so so that's easy. So every, every date we push it out is 20 more science. So if we go to November... Mm, 
so here's where you have to start making tough calls. Not necessarily super tough, but this is where it starts, right? Because if we choose November to get the most science and then this day has horrible conditions, then we're forced to postpone to December, which is suboptimal launch, or we go all the way to March, which is the next funding year. So I think we pick October. We pick October and we give ourselves a push to November option. Even though it's leaving a little bit of science on the table, a little bit of research. We could get more done with the training. Now, Pioneer Observation Platform with no effect in place. We're going to make a new rocket using our ABLE upper and our Algal booster. Mostly because it's a little cheaper, but, but also because it kind of gives us what we need. We don't need a lot for this particular trip to the moon. Um, but the name of this rocket has yet to be determined, and for that we need to consult our rocket ideas. So from now on, this rocket will be known as Oriya. Although I believe in the stream you were down as Oriya May, so we'll 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 do that. We'll do that. That name is now removed from the pool, and we'll say this rocket will be known as the Oriya May. And we're going to save this design. Again, it's important to save these designs because we're going to do as many request missions and joint missions as possible. Really, when it comes down to it, we need that science as much as we need the money. We need both. Okay, the Araya May has been commissioned. Let's build it. Next stage of research. Let's see. If we're trying to get a human in space, let's start with that mission first. So we'll start researching that mission. Is anybody working on that yet? Here, if we just if we just come here and we look at the milestones. Okay, nobody even has the research done for this yet. nor do they the satellite imaging. Couple of missions available, um, but we don't have an extra mission control in place yet. Japan is going to be doing a lunar orbit next month. China failed lunar orbit. China failed lunar orbit. That gives us a strong capability to make it their third. But we don't get any bonus. Uh, <laughs> we don't get any bonuses unless we're first. But again, it's a 63 support bonus. Now, do I want the extra 63 support? Yes. Is it going to cost us the game if we don't get it? Probably not. Your engineers have managed to optimize a key component of the Pioneer payload for your upcoming lunar orbit mission, increasing payload reliability by 5%. Oh, that's nice. In addition, they've identified to increase the payload by a further 10%, though it would require extra funding, currently at 60%. I, I think... So here's the thing, we have the money, but in case in case you're not tracking the trend, we're losing money. Like we're we're spending our space subsidy much faster than we're getting income. And I think the truth is we need to just accept a 60% optimization and, and be a little frugal currently because we don't have commercial endeavors on the table. So we need to spend our money wisely and not not spend it on arbitrary stuff. 60% payload for our first ever moon orbit, and it has a command module or uh, observation module installed, I think that's pretty good. All right, this is our solar wind monitoring satellite launch. This is our TGM rocket. Ah, there we go with the rain. I was a little worried that would happen. Bad conditions, oh, widens us up past a 10% critical failure chance. Thing is, we don't know if weather is going to be better in the next month. I think we reschedule. This is just this is not for a milestone. Plus, we're going to get five percent more science, and November is still a good month. So let's reschedule for next month. 
Japan achieved the moon orbit. Okay, well, they are our allied space program with us, so I suppose we need to praise them. The newspapers are dominated by the recent success of Japan's lunar orbit mission. Your agency has been approached for comment. Your PR team advised that praising their achievement will improve your relations, but open our agency up to criticism of falling behind. Conversely, downplaying the mission may boost public support, but damage relations with Japan. We kind of just have to praise them. We need to praise them like we should, even though it cost us 100 support. We're going to attempt to gain some of that back with a relaunch of solar wind monitoring. <gasps> you wouldn't dare give me bad weather twice in a row. This weather looks worse. Terrible conditions. We're just going to reschedule. I can't justify doing that. We can't afford to, to no, I can't, we can't afford a critical failure. We're going to have to push it all the way to March because these are 20% launch reliability penalty. And if we're going to launch on a suboptimal launch date, we might as well have pushed it in the rain. Let's, let's reschedule for March. All right. And the Oriya May has been completed with launch reliability, but minus payload reliability. Oh, we could have spent the money to offset that, and we didn't. That's probably a lesson to be learned, and we don't have the payload reliability training. We can do science training, though, and I think we should, because we're going to go for May. That'll put us in second place. Yep. If we launch in May, that puts us in second place. We could schedule for April. Suboptimal, but no, I think we go with May. And even if the weather is bad, I think it's bad weather on an optimal launch day is better than good weather on a suboptimal launch day. Is that how that works? Maybe not. I think we're good with May. We'll be second. We won't get anything for it because we demand to be first, but... And look at this. Everybody's putting stuff in space. Animals. Everybody's putting animals in space. All right. Funding review. We gained some support, and we lost some support, but overall, it's a funding increase, thankfully. A global symposium is taking place to establish laws regarding territorial space for orbiting satellites. The proposed treaty states that all nations should have free access to space. Your advisors believe supporting the treaty will improve diplomatic relations with the other space agencies, though opposing it may prove popular with sections of our media. Um, I... Uh... I'd rather I uh, we don't need the money as much as we need the science. Let's support the treaty. Ten reputation with all agencies. So Japan is pegged. So we can afford to be a little. Uh, what's this window here? We I don't know how large this window is, but we can afford to be a little critical of Japan. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, if we boost Russia a little bit, we might be able to get a friendly bonus in the science to put us into a seven percent science income. I mean, at this point, if we improve our relations with ESA too much, then we'll lose the money we're getting from competing with them. So it might be time to not work together as much, maybe. All right, solar wind monitoring launch. Let's try again. There we go. Looks like good weather to me. Launch day. For the TGM rocket, adequate conditions give no change, uh, but we're below 10% launch, which is our acceptable threshold, so we're go for launch. Ignition. Let's get, let's get a good launch. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Oh, minus one power for duration of mission battery damage. 
That hurts. That hurts because we could have... Well, it doesn't matter. So we're still going to have five power, but we have... Um, or no, this is uh, solar wind monitoring. So we'll only have three power. Or did we spend for the better payload? Achieve Earth orbit. We only need one calm, two data. We did spend for the better payload. So I think first we do the signal return test followed by the atmospheric sampling. That seems to be the way to do it. Mission command has a good signal. So let's take some atmospheric samples. There we go. So then we'll do a data transmission back of everything we got, followed by more atmospheric sampling. All right, that's a good data transmission. And that means we pretty much got it. Yep, atmospheric sampling is good. That's mission complete. We got a good reading on the solar winds. Very good. And the bonus reward. Yes, we needed that science. We really needed that science. It's so much to research these. Oh my gosh. Experimental fuel. Um, Where are we at with the moon? Lunar orbit. We're still poised to be second, assuming we succeed. Um, I'm thinking we do another, another one of these missions. Improved science reward, but launch reliability is down. Yeah, let's, let's send up an orbital radio. I think we can just afford the, the standard, the standard explorer payload for this one. I mean, we can afford both, but I think, you know. A major power outage during the construction of the Explorer payload for your upcoming orbital radio mission has resulted in substantial damage to one of its components. Your engineers have estimated a 10% reduction in payload reliability unless the component is replaced. <sighs> Replace it because we might suffer an additional 10%. Yep, component replaced and we've completed human in space research. This represents not only a key stride towards a stable orbital mission, but a landmark for the human exploration of space. Uh, from there... We're going to need to research the... Um, we don't have the backup power generator, which we need. We don't have astronaut training, which we need. We need lots of science. Let's research the payload Mercury. We can at least begin building that. All right, next month, we're going to have a couple of things here to handle. All right, no effect of the payload. We're still at 60% payload reliability. All right, we're ready to launch the lunar orbit. We're going to be second place getting to the to orbit the moon. Payload reliability took a hit. Um, launch reliability is looking good. That 900 science, though, is delicious. Um... Rat. Is there a benefit to pushing it through the rain? There really is not, if you think about it. That's below 10%, though. I'd... The thing is... If we're not first, we're last. We don't get a milestone bonus if we're not first. So... That's still below 10% critical failure rate, though. I think we go for it. That's below 10%. Granted, the Pioneer payload is pretty expensive to replace, If we, but I, that's liftoff. What's done is done. <laughs> we declared we're go for lunch. Yep, it's going. No, no!
4%, even if we would have rescheduled, let's be clear, even if we would have rescheduled, a 4% would have been a critical failure. There's no way we would have got the critical failure rate below 4%. Um, sometimes we fall down just to pick ourselves back up. Wow. Wow, that... That really, really puts us behind. Um... Well, we, we need to try again. So let's start planning the mission. We'll build the Pioneer Observation Payload again. It's a lot of money. Good thing we got that space subsidy. Orbital radio. We're ready for... Um, it's actually a, is a TGM rocket. Which will begin construction on that. Looks like another one, another agency achieved a successful lunar orbit. Vehicle upper stage gains two experience levels after launch. That's good. That's good. We could use a little bit more of that in our life. All right. TGM rocket has lower launch reliability. Optimal suboptimal launch windows are reversed, but the mission training bonuses are increased by 100%. That's really good because we could use... How are we at 42 launch reliability on our TGM rocket? Should have been 67. Oh, because it's experimental fuel. That's right. Well, this is going to be an Orion A rocket to take us to uh, orbiting the moon. So we can begin construction there. Okay, for the orbital radio, as much as I want to boost the science, because look at that, 50%, that's another 200, I think we have to go with launch reliability training to try to get us above 50%. If we put it off to here, no. No, we go to September. All right. China did complete lunar orbit second. So that means we will be third. The discovery of debris likely belonging to a weather balloon has sparked a wave of conspiracy theories surrounding UFOs. Several questionable magazines have approached your agency for comment. Whilst your researchers urge diminishing or dismissing such stories, your PR team has noted the potential for drumming up interest in space exploration. What's our support? Can we... Let's dismiss it. If the researchers are urging us to dismiss it, maybe we'll get science for it. Your agency has dismissed the speculation. There's more than enough wonders in our solar system. We don't need to make them up. Oh, we didn't get anything for it? Maybe we should have gone for the support. Hmm... Well, what's done is done. All right, next month. Ah, yes. Experimental fuel with our orbital radio. All right, we got the TGM up to 54% launch reliability with the experimental fuel. Good conditions. Right at 10%. Let's do it. Nobody said this was going to be easy. Let's ignition. Alright. Alright, looks good. Yes. Okay, boy, we needed a successful launch. We really did. Come on! Oh, I was like, I'll take a perk. All right. Secure launch. That's good experience here and there. The TGM goes up a little bit. All 
All right, orbital radio. We just have to achieve orbit with this payload, and I think we're going to do the same thing we've been doing. Signal return test followed by atmospheric sampling. All right, that's a bad signal return, but we need to resist it because we need to be able to do the atmospheric sampling with those commands. Okay. That hurts. That hurts. I think we let that one sit. We, we just lose the data on that one, I think. I think we do. Because then what we're going to do is recharge the power and send the data transmission back down to command. Come on. There we go. Okay, we needed those comms. So now I think we recharge power and we do the atmospheric sampling again. We reattempt this action. Nope. Not so much. We need to resist this one. We need all of that data for the radio. So we're still, we're complete at this time. I think we recharge the battery and then we get a signal return test one more time and we're golden. As long as this action actually completes successfully. Yo! Excellent. There's your 50% bonus objective and that's why we don't auto resolve these missions. Because that's actually going to be a plus 100 science. Yeah, we're going to take that. If we let the system roll with like a 15% chance to complete it, we would not have completed it. We could do more solar wind monitoring. I feel like having a mission control that's not handling a mission is just like like dead space is not good so we're gonna do another um, solar wind monitoring mission right I think that's I think that's the right thing to do we'll just send us a, a, a regular payload Japan is going to be doing satellite imaging soon. Oh my gosh. Soviet Union is going to get a human into space in 10 months. So is China. What? Dang. Mercury research is complete. So we could technically start researching the human in the space mission, or we could start building the payload, but. Okay, that's kind of a wash. This is a job for the TGM rocket design. Reliable. Okay, but at this point, what we don't have is we don't have the ability. Mm, I need that backup power generator. We don't have an astronaut training ground. Or training, training ground, training facility, which we need. And I don't think we have a payload large enough to carry what we're going to be launching. Let's see. The Mercury payload weighs um, 1,800 kilograms. The most that we can carry is 350. Yeah, so we need either the, the Delta or the Redstone at this point. And the Delta appears to be the cheaper option. And then maybe the Redstone Booster. Delta Upper Stage, Redstone Booster. But we, we can't... We can start researching the Redstone Booster. We need another one from this selection to get to the Delta. So let's start researching... Look at the launch reliability on the Scout. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Costs the same amount as the Viking. Why would you... 
because it can carry so much more up, but even still. I think the obvious choice is the Jupiter upper stage, so we'll research that. All right, Jupiter research is complete. That happened relatively quickly. Lunar orbit vehicle is complete. Launch reliability, payload reliability is down. Wow, down to 50% now. Um, I think we go with science training, and we push it. Gosh, should we just push it? We're going to be third pretty much no matter what. They haven't even... How is the Soviet Union ready to put a human in space, but they haven't done the, the moon orbital? No, I think we go for February. And then if we have to postpone it, then we postpone it to July. Actually, we could probably postpone it to March and be okay. But we need this one to launch. That's where we're going to wrap it up, though, for this one. We'll have to pick it up in the next one. I do hope you've had a good time watching because as always I've had a good time playing until next time take care